All right, what's up YouTube? Sky that one guy here. So I just wanted to talk to you guys today about the mystery power boxes. So I recently opened up two of these on my channel, but I have since then bought more. And uh, they are, so for those of you that don't know, they come with one graded LOB card. The glare in here is not working with me. Um, and then they also come with one legacy pack, so an older Legend of Blue Eyes era pack, and four newer packs. They also have a chance one in five become a hot box containing all five legacy packs. So I've opened up quite a few of these off, off camera, um, and I have quite a few left. I'm going to move the camera real quick. So we have about eight there and more off camera as well. So I've done, I've done some good numbers with these. Uh, my most recent one, uh, my most recent one had, I will show it. My most recent one was the hot box and it came with the all five vintage packs. And it came with, we pulled a Call the Haunted from Pharaoh's Servant, Garnisa Elephantis from Metal Raiders, and a Black Illusion Ritual from uh, Spell Rollers. And then the graded card in that box was a Raigeki. A Raigeki 10. So it was very exciting. Uh, I kind of wish I captured it on camera, but that's all right. I know a lot of you won't believe and you know what happens off camera happens off camera whatever anyways <clears throat> that's not a point of this video so I believe I've determined a method to find out which boxes are the hot boxes without actually looking inside um, if I were to look inside I would have to like actually physically bend this you would see bins around it um, and that would be way pushed in this would you know Basically, my point is I did not tamper with it at all. Um, as you can see, I have all these other ones off camera. I haven't tampered with any of these ones. Um, I've found another method without destroying the box and looking inside to actually determine if it is a hot box. So I just wanted to capture it on camera. So if my method is correct, then this will this box will contain all five of these packs. And that is what that is what I'm guessing. So let's just open it right up. Um, like I said, this is a one in five chance you're supposed to buy five of these to be able to get one with all five vintage packs. So let's open this up real quick. Alright, so I'm just going to be a little slow taking the graded card out because I want to keep the suspense up for that. So Okay, so I need to flip it around. So let's, okay, so I want that there. And let's see if we were right. And we have one vintage pack, Metal Raiders. And yes, we were right. So this is a vintage box. So this is a hot box, they call it. So my camera is getting a little low on battery, so we're going to speed through this, so excuse me for opening these poorly, but I don't want the camera to die, I, I was not that prepared, so Metal Raiders. And we got a rare, that's okay, that's okay, Pharaoh's Servant, oh you know what, actually you guys, I'm going to have to end the video here, right there on the dust tornado, and um, I'll have to, I'll, I'll probably add these to the end of the video, but let's just reveal this before my camera dies. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, are you serious? Okay, hold up. I now have two Raigekis. Okay, you guys, so there is a way to determine which boxes are the hot boxes, and I believe they might all come with foils, I'm not sure. Uh, if you guys want to know that method, Hit the like button, subscribe, um, give me comments, tell me what you guys want to know. Do you want me to explain this? Do you want to know how you guys can get a guaranteed hotbox? Um, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm feeling very lucky. I can't believe that just happened. I have two of these now. At the start of the day, I had none. Um, if you guys want to want to know more, um, let me know. And this will either be the end of the video, or if I have time later, I will record myself opening these three as well, and I'll add it to the end of the video. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace out. All right, you guys, I am back. Sorry about that 
I hate cutting up a video like this, especially opening packs, but I had recorded a few videos previously and I did not take a look at, at my camera's battery life. So we are back. We still have three more packs to open from the previous mystery box. We have pulled, we pulled this from this same mystery box where these packs came from. And uh, previously before that, we had also opened another Raigeki. So we are doing really good today. Um, we're having a lot of luck. So we got the camera charged up. Uh, I'm probably just going to put this right in the same video, so we'll just mash them together uh, and make it one video. So, Invasion of Chaos. Um, let's see what we get here. Oh my gosh, can I open packs today? No? Okay, so Invasion of Chaos. Let's see. Salvage, very cool common. And we got a rare... Compulsory. Okay, I kind of forgot this was a rare back in the day. That's uh, very interesting to see. This card was used very heavily in the meta um, years ago. Or the underdog, another cool common. But um, not seeing too much play today. So, still a very cool pull. So let's go Spell Roller. Whoops. Spell Roller. I mean, these packs, for some reason these packs just do not look at that. I mean, they do not open like normal packs do. I, I don't get it. But that's alright. And we may have... No, I don't know. We'll see. So, Spell Ruler. I'd like to see some tune stuff in here. Camera focus, there we go. Wow, look at that. <clears throat> some... Uh, very old cards. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey. There we go. So it's not a tune card, but wow, look at that. Spell Ruler Mystical Space Typhoon. Very cool. This card was used very heavily back in the day. Very, very heavily. Uh, easily a staple. But uh, very cool. Definitely not used nearly as much as it is today in today's meta meta however you want to say it um yeah very good pull there very excited about that all right so last pack is blue eye legend of blue eyes white dragon i don't know why i keep opening them from the back it's obviously not going well for me but that is all right so legend of blue eyes Alright. And our rare is Spirit of the Harp. So that is alright. So just a recap of that box. This is what we pulled. And, um, yeah, we're doing pretty good today, so you know what? So just to prove a point, um, you know, some people are going to say, oh, he just got lucky, you know, that was, he just hit a hot box when he was recording. So, back to the original topic of this video. So I believe I have a proven method for finding the hot boxes. So the one in five boxes have a hot box. Uh, it'll... It'll have the all five vintage packs, um, just like we just opened. So, if my theory is correct, this will have these five packs and another graded card. Hopefully, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I think I honestly think they sent multiple cards together. I should have brought them in here, but I have... So, from one store, I got two Raigekis, because these were both from the same store, and from another store, I got... Uh, to, um, ah, I can't think of the card right now, just a rare, but I've been, I've been getting, in my last video, I got two Fishers, I posted that online on my YouTube channel, so, it's very strange to see a lot of duplicates coming in, so, I almost feel like maybe they packaged the cards, this is the graded cards together, maybe, um, but, you know what, let's just get right into it, I actually didn't bring my scissors. I put them away in between videos. Um, so we are going to have to just get in here with our hands. 
Um, but yeah, there's no no tampering here. No, no nothing. This is a perfectly sealed box. Um, and yeah, so this is going to be a vintage hot. This is going to be a hot box. So we have all five of the sealed vintage packs. If what I believe is accurate. And if you guys want to know how. If you guys want to know how you can tell that it is a vintage box, then just hit the like button and subscribe, and we will let you know. I will let you know how to do that. So I'm going to be very slow here pulling this out. Yes, we need to flip it over. So we got the back of it there. Let's move our ragakis off to the side. And guess what, guys? We are correct. We have hit another vintage box, a hot box. The odds of this are one in five, and I just opened two in a row on, on camera, and I opened quite a few of them off camera. So this is a very cool thing. Um, I'm very excited about this. If you guys want to know how, just like the button, or hit the like button and subscribe, and leave me a comment letting me know that you guys, this is something you guys want to know, so... Uh, very cool to be able to hit these hot boxes. This is supposed to be very rare. There's very few videos of these on YouTube. So I'm going to scoot this up here. Scoot this up here. From This this is from our last pull. This is from our very last pull earlier in this video. This is from an off-camera pull. Um, so we have... Okay, so... Okay, so... Let's go from right to left. We're going to start with Pharaoh's Servant, a very good set, a very iconic set. Um, had some pretty good luck with this recently. So we're going to see what we can do. All right, Dark Bat. Kiss a tie. Solemn Wishes, a very good, very... Classic card, very old card. I guess it's not that good, but um, you know, very, very vintage, very nostalgic. Magic Drain, that's our rare. Okay, so that's all right. Starting off with a rare, no problem there. Plenty of packs to go. And we have Metal Raiders. So let's give Metal Raiders a go. I'm opening these packs a little weird because I kind of don't want to damage the cards, so I'm kind of just ripping the pack wrapper, wrapper open all the way. Um, and let's see what we can do with Metal Raiders. MRD, right? This will be just looking. Yeah, Metal Raiders. All right, and Shadow Ghoul is the rare. Trent is a common. Draconic Piper, very solemn release. And Castle of Dark Illusions. Very nostalgic. Lots of memories here. Having fun, so I don't mind hitting rares. Alright, Spell Ruler. Like I said, I really want to see some Toon stuff in here. Um, Toon World. Ultra Rare Toons, that would be really cool. But, uh... Alright. That kind of looks like a rare in there, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Spell Ruler. Let's see how lucky we are with this pack today. I think... Yes, this is the pack that we pulled at MST on just a little bit ago. So, let's see. Ah, just a rare. It looked like it was a hollow for a second. Nope, just a rare. That's alright. Um, I know I said right to left, but I think I'm going to save blue eyes for last. Okay, Invasion of Chaos. This is a very important pack. You can pull some really good stuff in here. I actually have a friend who pulled a BLS um, from one of the mystery boxes inside of the inside of the Invasion of Chaos pack. So maybe we will get lucky. Maybe not as lucky as them, but let's see. So Invasion of Chaos, and we got a Hollow. All right, that's cool. DD Scout Plane. So not the best Hollow in the pack. 
Uh, you know what? I will take that. I will take a hollow. It's a very cool hollow. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Lots of things I'd like to see in this pack. Um, but I will be happy with any hollow. Alright. <clears throat> Vile Germs. Petite Angel. Hain Hain Rare. <laughs> Trial of Nightmare. Very cool. Very nostalgic card. This, uh, the first edition, the first print runs have Trial of Hell, but they censored it to Trial of Nightmare. And mint copies of Trial of Hell first editions are actually going up in price right now. Um, I'm not sure if it's the collectors or if it's a meme or people just like seeing the uncensored version or just a whole combo of all three. So very cool. Very cool. All right, you guys, so we have opened two hot boxes on camera and one off camera. At least, no, actually more than one off camera, but one recently where we hit the other Regeki. Um, so before I reveal this, just um, comment and let me know if you want to know how I figured out which which boxes are hot boxes. So very cool. Um, so far, my hot boxes have been very nice to me. So. Two hot boxes have been a Raigeki, both from the same store. Um, and yeah, so let's just see. Let's see how this one is. Let's see if this one's as nice to me as the other ones have been. Oh my gosh. No way. No way. <laughs> wow. All right, you guys. Wow. That card is beautiful. Look at that. How's the condition on the bag? Yeah, it looks beautiful. All right, you guys. So, wow, just had to take a second to let that thing sink in. Okay, so we pulled, oh, my camera is not focused. Okay, you know what? I'm going to move these for a second, you guys. So... Sorry for the poor rearrangement here. Oh my gosh, and I'm bumping the camera. Okay, unprofessional. Okay, guys. So, I believe... I I believe that the hot boxes are... Con that c they contain hollows. Um, I think they purposely set it up so that when you do get a hot box, uh, which is a 1 in 5 chance, that you also get a hollow graded card. Um, I don't have a big enough sample size to believe that to to know this for sure, but out of every hot box I have opened, it has a had a hollow graded card, and also every video I've found online so far on YouTube that has been a hot box has had a hollow graded card. So we are coming up so, with some great um, sample sizes here. Uh, I've I've personally opened over ten of these, and I have a lot more to open. Um, so very exciting. Um, yeah, we're learning things about this mystery power box. We are definitely learning. And, um, just one more time. So these are the hot boxes, which are a one in five chance. And so far, every hot box I have found has been a hollow graded card. So very cool to know that you will get all five vintage packs. And from what I've seen so far, you will get a graded card as well. Um, uh, or sorry, a hollow graded card as well. Um, I'm going to do some more testing and get a larger sample size so we can know that this is accurate. Um, but if you guys want to know more, if you want to know how I figured this out, just let me know in the comments and I will tell you guys exactly how I did it. So thank you much, uh, very much for watching. Uh, what do you guys think about these amazing pulls? Honestly, I had no idea. At the start of the day, I had zero Raigekis, zero Gaias. Um, now we have two Raigekis and a Gaia, so... This has been just very, very exciting experience for me. Sorry about dragging this video out so long. It's just, uh, this just really caught me off guard. I didn't expect to get all this today. Um, and it's, yeah, it's some very cool information. So let me know what you guys think and have a great day.